welcome to game one of the losers match over here in the top right position on moodlight madness from all inspiration i believe that is maybe just team all in so many all ins in here it is the purple protoss player canary canary used to be a very cheesy terran switched to protoss because he knew the cheese was much more alive than protoss but the man who's definitely all biological in the bottom left-hand corner, we have the blue Zerg player, King Zerg. And King, uh, say, I know you guys can't hear Saber, but Saber just like, what type of build is this? I guess this is a, a, a proxy gate, a proxy double gate. Now, one one kind of cool thing is Canary, since he does have the Zelnaga, he spotted the probe, or my bad, I, not my bad, check that, he spotted the drone going over to Canary's side of the map, to his own side, so maybe he knows something's going on. Now, this is this is the scary part of the game, where the Zerg player, King Zerg, is like, ooh, wait, where, where, where are your buildings? Where is this going down? We instantly see Extractor into, or sorry, Pool into Extractor, and he knows something's up. Now the funny thing is, it's like, why would you put it next tower? So no one ever thinks to put it, no one ever thinks to scout there. It's like, why Why would you ever put it next to the thing that gives you more vision? Yet, it seems to work. Two Zelts started up. It's not anything like gate into cyber into second gate, where then you can pump out two stalkers after the first Zealot. It's a pure Zealot all-in, and Canary is sadly supply blocked, which doesn't work out well when you're doing a Zealot all-in here. Canary sending the first Zealot out. King Zerg is four lings on the way. If those lings can get a nice surround, a nice micro, they can beat one Zealot, but the second Zealot's all the way. Canary's got a probe on this side of the map, but no warp gate, nothing like this. So this has to work, and Canary is still supply blocked. There it is. It's not supply blocked anymore. He would have three to four Zealots moving in if he was not supply blocked. But now, one probe up will valiantly give up his or her life for the Protoss cause. Spinecrawler going down for King Zerg. Metabolic boost started. Still one drone mining gas, so King Zerg is a little bit prepared for the late game. Or for them to get into the mid game, I meant. But we still don't see a queen. There's the queen started. Zealot's doing a dangerous dance between the drones and the minerals and the lings. But now, lings engaging. I know, drones engaging all around. Two more zealots are coming across the map. No, they're not. They're stuck in the middle. They're not actually coming in. I think King Zerg just completely defended this because these two zealots would have just been there by now if they hadn't stopped in the middle of the map. Four lings coming out. King Zergus to be very careful not to lose them to an A move, but neither player is doing that. They're both move commanding, not attack moving. Canary would have had a lot more zelts if he didn't get supply blocked, but now the queen's going to be out. He's not only going to have injects, but that range attack where you can kite for a little while. Warlings are coming out of the map for King Zerg. Currently six to the four zealots. Four zealots do win, but they're so spread out for Canary. He's got to be really careful. Back at home, Canary is taking a second base, and a pile on that maybe getting a little bit of a wall, but still, sadly, as a Protoss player, you're not Terran and you can't lift up your production after this doesn't work, so let's see how it works. Uh, somewhat of a contain may happen for Canary, but these spine crawlers will be able to hit his zealots at the top of this ramp. To boot, there's the queen there, metabolic boost is done, and now these lings are going to have speedy Gonzalez legs. Heading across, heading across the map, they will try, uh, they're not going to actually try to catch Canary Zealot, but they do see the one lone Zealot. This is the one situation where you can engage the Zealots, but oh, not, not in a pack. It's in a little dicey. Zealots will slaughter all those lings. There's still two spine crawlers for King Zerg, though. And now the Zealot numbers are starting to pile up. They're starting to snowball a little. Or Zealots heading back home for Canary? I'd, um, I'd, I'd presume he wanted to get damage done, but oh. The three lanes going across the map themselves. Canary does have a full wall in, actually. And Forge is done. Hopefully can get down some photon cannons. But now, I mean, Canary, Canary's box, the, the boxy gates could do damage, but he's indecisive. He goes to the front, then he goes to the back rocks. Then his zelts are kind of meandering in the middle. So this should get a little bit scary. King Zerg now is on Canary's side of the map. Three lings will get cleaned up by this one zealot. This is the hero here. Photon Cannon is getting down, and this is a full wall off. Still, zealots working on the back rocks. That'll provide opportunity and an avenue for Canary later on in the game to be able to get damage done, but he needed to get damage done now. As I mentioned, his, his production is in the middle of the map, and for a second, I thought that was beautiful. The lings could not get to the pylon, but sadly they can. 
We'll be working on that pile in a little while. Zealots, I don't think are going to be out fast enough. Maybe if one of them's chrono boosted? Not 100% sure. The back rocks will eventually go down. Zealots heading back, and actually they're not going to try to save their zealot brethren in the gateways. They're going to go for the natural base. There still is two spine crawlers repositioned, one on the ramp, one in the main of King Zerg to defend, and now he's got two queens. Zealots are going to be coming from both sides. Maybe this was an attempt to bypass those spines, but now four roaches coming back, coming out. Canary on his side of the map, he's got his photon cannon up in his wall. He's got a natural base economy going. Let's look at the workers. Canary's actually ahead 10 workers, 29 to 19. This has worked out, but I feel like it could have been much more lucrative in the early game for Canary. Two zealots with how many seconds left? Three! Three seconds left. Don't quite make it. That definitely would have got out with the Chrono Boost. But now, these four roaches engaging with the Zealots. A little bit of micro going down. King Zerg will kill them with the Spine Crawler. There, they're cleaned up. They did cancel the natural base. So surprisingly enough, Canary has done a decent amount of damage here. He did commit, though, 400 minerals to the middle of the map. And then those couple more Zealots. So overall, maybe he's lost six to 700 minerals. But the important thing is, 33 workers to 18. A Protoss player, Canary is up about double. I know, 18, that would be 36. So just barely under double workers here. So this is actually working out very well for Canary. He knows he's got to defend just a couple minutes, and then he's going to be in the green, past the red. He's got three photon cannons up, Stalker on the inside, a Robo Bay in the back, actually, of his main base and two gates. This is looking very nice for him, but he still does not have warp gate. Not even started yet. All his gas gas is desperately going into gates. My bad. Going into stalkers. And now he's even got in the back. He's got a lovely photon cannon working away at those rocks and a stalker. This overall has gone really well for Canary. If he can hold on for just a couple more minutes, he's going to take a fantastic lead in this game, even more than already. And I think he will. Those roaches are going to get hammered going up the back part of this main into those rocks. The one thing that King Zerg really wants to do is he can... He can be greedy right now. He's been given the opportunity to be very greedy because he's got Canary on a full contain. A lot of photon cannons went down. He is completely walled himself in, especially in the back here. He's got the rocks down. So as long as King Zerg doesn't sacrifice all his roaches, he could potentially take a quick third and fourth because these roaches can contain Canary for a while. Two Immortals queued up for Canary himself. He should be fine from this roach push. He should actually kill it. He's got, it's still a little bit dicey here, especially with uh, other second stalker coming in. Canary could actually, I think, be killing this. Yeah, Canary, these stalkers can actually hit it if they go in the crook between the rocks, the two the two rocks here. Uh, the stalkers could shoot at the roaches. Not going to happen, though, but now, what is this? Eleven, or no, nine roaches will be heading up the ramp and completely push back. The immortal, the cannon, they will be able to kill a couple zealots here, but they cannot force the subject, and I don't think they should. We see King Zerg committing to Roaches now, getting Roach speed. He's got a Hydralisk Den done, but is still on two base. At the moment, this is crazy. Canary is at 51 workers to the 36 of King Zerg. Did my internet just go down? Nope, it's King Zerg. Good. That was scary for a second, but King Zerg defended the two gate all in, which was really weird, but it's actually worked surprisingly enough. And now King Zerg's got a scary situation. Why couldn't? Well, I feel like it should be a pause. Um, when when there's the lag or whatever and a player does this so you can keep as a caster looking around doing your thing But sadly it won't be King Zerg does look like he's getting a second and third gas on his natural base Currently will be up to four my bad third to fourth gas on his natural base Need to not say my bad. I gotta say check that that's what I'm working on guys But he's got a natural and ah Wow, he's got a third and fourth extractor at his natural base. He's getting that economy up, but I don't know if he actually has the drones to make it work at the moment. As I mentioned, our Protoss player Canary is still up about 20 workers. That is a ton in a PVZ, especially when he's on the same amount of gate or when he's on the same amount of base. Did he did he come back? That went to zero. I swear that went to zero for King Zerg. Wow. Oh, King Zerg came back with one second to go, obviously, and won't be out of here. Roaches of King Zerg did have to pull back, working on that gate. And now, we see out of Canary, he's got a decent amount of army, but not a lot of gate to really supplement, not a lot of gateway units to supplement an immortal, the, the robo unit. So, he's getting out of Warp Prism, and is going to go for an attack, hopefully into the main, see what he can snipe. 
Kingsburg is now taking his third base. Couple Roaches out on the map, but Canary almost doesn't even need these Immortals. I mean, there's only four or five Roaches. He could almost take it with the Stalkers and maybe one Immortal. For now, though, looks like he's moving out. Not going to go for a drop. Just going to go for an aggressive play where he has that warping capability wherever he wants because his original proxy pylon was destroyed. Kingsurg a little bit unsure what he should do. He's got a couple roaches around the map, making sure they're spotting any movements coming across the map. Now, Canary's going to hit a really, really crucial timing because Kingsurg, his third base isn't done. That's a big a part. Of, that's a big part of production for a Zerg player. We, uh, what is this? Plus one range for Hydra is not going to be done. Neither is the plus. Neither is the Hydralisk range, which is queued up. A macro hatch is going down. Double Evo chamber is not started. Upgrades. Canary is going to hit at a huge timing. King Zerg literally may have nothing. Let's see how this works out. Currently, how many stalkers we got? Nine stalkers, a warp prism, seven sentries, all with a force field. Not too much energy, but seven force fields do a lot. Three immortals and a warp prism. Warp prism is down. We have five roaches, a couple, two hydras, one roach coming out for King Zerg. And I don't know if he can actually defend this. Force fields go down beautifully, not allowing any reinforcements from the high ground. Spinecrawler taken out. Ooh, Overlord's going into a scary position. Natural base is being focused down as much as Canary can. There is the third base for King Zerg, which is now saturated. But already 15 drones are killed. Macker Hatch coming just down for King Zerg. There is the Hydralisk range done. So if force fields do go down, those Hydras should be able to work on it. But yep, literally, gonna go back to that game. Z uh, 28 army supply. <laughs> Over here in the bottom left hand corner, currently down a game, our Zerg brethren. It is the blue Zerg player, King Zerg. And his daring opponent, the Protoss player from All Inspiration. Top left hand corner, it is Canary. Gotta make sure it's all inspiration, but it's either that or University of A, whatever that is, not sure. We're seeing the Protoss Cheese strong in Canary again, sending out a very early probe, but it was a pylon. It looks like it's gonna be a forge first pylon. A bad forge first fast expand, not a forge, for, forge first pylon. Yep, there it is, forge go, actually gate going down. I was expecting a cannon rush, but no, it will be a gateway first. Now, this is interesting on the low ground. It's a lot harder to wall off any early aggression, but I think Canary's just banking off as a four-player map. I scouted you first. You don't know where I am. Yes, the overlord of, Canary, uh, of King Zerg is going the right direction, but still, it's a little bit of a gutsy move. You see King Zerg forced to do a pool into extractor almost at the exact same time for himself. And we'll be opening up very aggressively. You gotta remember, there's no natural base, so Canary has actually kind of forced King Zerg into, I think, a more aggressive stance than King Zerg wanted to be, and Canary wants him to be. Canary's gateway fast expanding. Yes, it provides a nice avenue for aggression, but the defense early on is not there. There's still no natural base, and now it's starting, but that has allowed King Zerg a lot of mining time on his gas, and his spawning pool is almost done. This could be potentially disastrous for Canary, especially when the first Overlord of King Zerg headed in onto his base of the very first time and will be able to scout everything scouts it. Let's see how King Zerg reacts. He's still got three in gas, just waiting till he gets 100, and I assume he's going to start speed and that lovely aggression. We still see Canary's probe in the middle, or I guess in the main base and natural of King Zerg, dancing around with his one drone. Man, this drone's having a hard day. It's like... You, you, your hatch was denied. Not only was your building of a hatch denied, that next step in uh, the uh, Zerg evolution, but he's got this probe being really annoying. Probe of Canary is not even going to leave. Just going to hang out on the ramp, see what he can do. And this is really scary just because, yes, it's not a Forge Fast Expand. King Zerg knows that, but it's still okay. That's possible probe on my side of the map, wherever. And it's not too nice of a feeling. King Zerg will have a very early metabolic boost, though, and has two Lings out. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this probe. And yep, there it is going down. They will eventually get it. The Lings are slightly faster than that probe. Natural base of Canary is still not down yet. And I like the gateway fast expand, but still, I feel like just a Nexus first, 
Forge Fast Expand would have worked really well. He is providing himself some nice aggression opportunity, yet, like I mentioned, he forced out an early pool from King Zerg. So King Zerg potentially could have a nice defense for this if that is what Canary is planning. Still no natural base for Canary, saving up to 400, and there it is. Natural base going down, only one gas in the main, so it's kind of a funky build. Two gas is normally okay, you're going to be aggressive. One gas in this opening is still a little bit strange for Canary. He is required to go up to this stalker number, sentry, zealot, whatever, just to be able to defend some of this early aggression that Zerg players can put on. Currently out on the map, there are six lings. No more in production. There's two, but metabolic boost is done now. That boost is just one second away, and there they are. There's no sentry, no nothing to be able to wall this in, and they will get into the main. This is photon overcharge, but I doubt Canary wants to use that. These probes can almost go one for one with the lings, but that's not what you want to do. Photon overcharge is actually forced, really right there. It's okay if the lings get out. Canary just wants to kill them. Now though, does kill them. Did he lose a single worker? I think he may have lost one. Yep, one worker was lost there, but I think that was the original work. Nothing was lost. Now, Canary's pushing out. Beautifully enough, though, King Zerg's two lings spot that. And how do we see King Zerg react? Okay, pulling those lings back. He's going up for a quick lair. This looks like it could have been a two base. So there's not going to be roaches. This is going to be an all-ling defense. Thankfully, though, Canary only went one gas early on. Is not going to have a lot of sentries with this force moving out. Three Stalkers, a Zealot, and a Mothership Core. These lings need to get a kill, but oh, these, uh, these Stalkers themselves can almost hold it down. There is no Spine Crawlers going down, no no, uh, no Queen at the natural base, so there's not going to have that production, neither is there going to have that extra DPS. Lings being forced to attack, one Stalker goes down, but that's only one Stalker. Yes, it's like one-fourth of the entire attacking force, but that's not worth all those lings being thrown into that. Desperately, I mean, even though the lair did have to finish and King Zerg didn't want to cancel that, there's still no other tech structure coming out for King Zerg. Finally, there's a queen. And, ooh, Canary is still being pushed back. He's got to be really careful. Six more lings are coming out. Even though these aren't the best trades for King Zerg, he's still doing it decently, and this is not at all what you want as a situation as a Protoss player. This, this Mothership Core is very low on health. I don't think the Queen can take it out. And yes, that's not exactly what either of these players wanted. King Zerg defended it pretty well. Uh, King Zerg did defend it, maybe not the best, but now, looking at the other side of the map, Canary should be able to defend this with the one sentry. He should be able to get the force field on. Let's see if he can. King Zerg moves in. And... Eh, I mean, he got the force field down, but there's still the two lings in the main. they a little bit indecisive. I would have liked those lings to go for the sentries, but it's not going to happen. King Zerg now is throwing down the spire. Did Canary spot it in the main? No, he did not. Canary is, though, a diamond player, so he should know something's up and strange in the middle of the natural base. Okay, you don't have your roach worn down, no roaches were caused, your queens are pretty late, honestly. This could be a little bit scary. Or Canary. That rhymed. It was amazing. But uh, I'm st I don't know if he scouted that and knows about it. Robo for Canary does go down. Three gates in the main. Canary is still trying to be aggressive, or at least compensate for that early aggression that was pushed back. But he's going to have very little anti-air. I mean, two sentries and a cannon? Eh, that's scary right there. As long as King Zerg can keep forcing out the force fields and everything from these sentries, they're going to be pretty useless. Third base King Zerg going down. Getting into a nice macro state. He's got his two queens. He's got his injects going. Spire's only a couple seconds away. And now we're seeing the double gas at Canary's natural base and an observer moving out. Hopefully, this observer will spot it. But like I was saying... He, I mean, uh, Canary can war warp in units, he can do as much as he wants. Wait, did he not start Gateway? Oh man, Gateway is so late, even though it was a gate first. The warp gate is still got 80 seconds left. Ling's getting into the main. But they do get an okay scout. Maybe not the best, but this Gateway is so delayed. This is going to be fantastic for King Zerg. The Observer of Canary is coming in, but oh, it's actually going to barely miss these Mutalisks on the right-hand side. It will scout that Spire, not the Mutas. Currently, how many Mutas do we have on that out on the map? Five Mutas moving across the map, but Canary's going to have a really scary production, or not a scary production, he's going to have a very small rate of production here, and is even, oh, he's picking up his units into the Warp Prism? These Mutalisks may be able to target it down. Warp Prism's going out, still not being pulled back. Three Stalkers are there. Mutalisks have to be careful, but there's still not that many Stalkers here. Mutalisks can't get large enough. They could be able to aim, but still, those three zealots of Canary moving out to the right-hand side of the map. 
I'm guessing there. Yeah, he's taking the long way around to the bottom right hand corner. I don't know why, but he's going to try to get some damage down to the third base, whatever. Big wave of drones finishing for King Zerg. Eight Metalisks are up now out on the map, but oh, one does get caught in the crossfire with some of these stalkers. Now, let's see what they do in the main. No Photon Cannon, no nothing in the main. Probes are being focused down as fast as they can. Net photon overcharge goes down. Seven workers killed, and now the Metalisks have to get out. Oh, but the Stalker's in a perfect position. We'll snipe one. Will they get another? No, barely do not. Five meters out on the map. Still working well for King Zerg. Both players may be a little bit tilted. This is the loser's match. By the way, Canary is up one game, so if he can win this, he does move on to face Tyrannus. If King Zerg can pull off this game in the next one, he'll go face Tyrannus again. Even though Tyrannus pretty solidly beat him in the first matches. Still getting a little scary for King Zerg. Like I was saying, his macro in his units there, actually, sorry, while all this is going on, Zealot's working on the third base. That Observer actually will look at taken out by Spore Crawler. Very nice. Gonna deny scouting. But these Metalists will pull back to kill this. While the Metalists are pulling back, Canary, that's gonna allow Canary to move out across the map. He still does not have a Photon Cannon in his main. Or natural though, so that's still that's kind of scary for Canary here. Uh, he won't have that defense, but now King Zerg moving out left hand side of the map. Canary, oh, let's see what he does. He's kind of hanging out in the middle, still not doing much. But again, King Zerg does not have the best composition. It's kind of scary, or I don't want to say scary, but he doesn't have the best composition against a massive amount of stalkers here, guys. Eleven stalkers. Let's see how this works out. King Zerg still trying to put on that pressure, but I don't know. Maybe he's going to go for a base trade situation. How many stalkers moving into the to the third base here? Let's see. Uh, 27 stalkers moving in. One spine crawler, one spore crawler, but no air. No mama core will have the opportunity to get sniped here. Stalkers working on those, working on that spine crawler, working on the third base now. At the natural base, though, photon overcharge goes down. As many probes are trying to be sniped down by these middleists, but won't quite happen. He just will have to pull back because of the photon overcharge. 14 probes went down with a third base's snipe. That's important for the proto for the Zerg economy here. Canary will start sniping these overlords now. There's a decent amount of lings out on the map, but is that enough to stop 27 stalkers? 31 out on the map. Beautiful force fields go down. Warp Prism also going down. Warp uh, Meadle is trying to do as much damage as they can, but I mean, stalkers are big units. The bouncing glaives don't do quite as much damage. And we'll see how this works out. Stalker's still focusing down the Midas. Let's see how uh, the Overlord's top left, not actually attack units. I totally thought that was a little attack right there. But barely, I think King, King Zerg will defend this. And yep, they, King Zerg barely defends this. He lost his third base, though. All of his Midas except for three, and now a train of Stalkers moving across the map. Let's see how this works. Canary trying to defend here. Two sentries, barely blinks back. By the way, he is blink. Didn't even realize that. But Canary pushing forward again. And even though the first attack was negated, he's now got a second attack on the way. 15 stalkers, six sentries, hoping to get damage done. And just the meat I don't think the links and Mitas are quite enough. These do these are plus one Mitas though, so they get something done. But I mean Mitas versus Stalkers, like I've said in other games, just King Zerg does not have quite the right composition. Canary will be able to snipe more and more overlords. Supply blocks King Zerg a decent amount, but King Zerg actually, he's got like 30 extra supply. Trying to take a third base again, but I mean, the Stalker, the Stalker micro is good. And Stalkers versus Midas, Midas don't do so well. Ling still trying to be forced out. King Zerg truly believes in himself. Trying to hold on. Three more Mutalisks on the way, plus one one also. He's trying to make these Lings more effective. These Lings work, but they just don't work. GG, Canary. Takes a uh, game two, going two to zero, knocking King Zerg out, and now is going to face up against the Terran player Tyrannus. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.